Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we are talking Sanguinius, Primarch of the Blood Angels, as we ask if the revelation of his secret could lead to the angel's own ascension. General spoiler warning to begin, as we will be discussing events from across the Warhammer 40k universe. So you have been warned. But with that said, let's just jump straight in. So Sanguinius, the Primarch who gave his life for his father the Emperor, and the Primarch who still to this day is the most revered of all the Emperor's sons, a symbol of sacrifice for the Imperium and its Emperor. And while Sanguinius did truly embellish that trait, we also know he was very much still a real man and as such suffered all the same faults and doubts as any human being. He had sorrow for the flaw in his bloodline, the first that cursed his sons, and he had anger towards his betrayer brother Horus. And most importantly for today, he had regret for his part in the Imperium Secundus. Rebute Gilliman's new Imperium, founded within Ultramar during the darkest days of the heresy. Gilliman's desire was founded with the best of intents. Fearing terror had fallen, he wished only to keep the Imperium alive. And after coming to a truce of an agreement with his brother Lion L. Johnson, it was the angel himself who reluctantly assumed the throne as Emperor. Much more to keep the peace between his brothers than any real desire to rule, for which the Angel had none. However, as we know, the Imperium and Terra still stood defiant, and when the Ruin Storm cleared revealing this truth, Sanguinius felt nothing more than shame for his part in Gilliman's empire, immediately racing to the throne world to stand beside his father. And this secret was long buried in the legends of the heresy of old, consigned to the 10,000 year lost history. However, during the novel Dark Imperium Godblight, it appears to set up a new storyline from this dark secret as a book detailing the history of the Imperium Secundus is found within the library upon McCrag. Now why there's a book laying around detailing all of this supposed erased history, we'll just have to ignore for now, but it certainly seems like it's going to be used to undermine Gilliman's rule within this current Imperium or at least that's my opinion of the most likely storyline. However, I just can't help but think how it could all be used instead within Sanguinius's evolving storyline. Sanguinius for all that he is dead is actually after the returned Gilliman himself still the most actively seen Primarch within the lore. An echo of his spirit still seemingly remains tied to the vengeful spirit, the sight of his death. And we have seen several appearances from him within the Dante series of novels, appearing in visions to speak with two of his most prominent sons, Dante himself and Mephiston, the Lord of Death. So it certainly appears Sanguinius is alive in some form at least, within the warp. And it's if this I can't help but wonder, could be used in the revelation of the Imperium Secundus. Yes, like I said, it's most likely all about Gilliman. But what if the reading of Emperor Sanguinius gives birth to a true cult of Sanguinius? Yes, Sanguinius is already worshipped to some degree, but I'm talking about a huge upswell of this devotion. I'm not saying replacing the Emperor, of course, 
but just a more literal worship of the angel sun. A groundswell of devotion. Because if this were to happen, the presence of Sanguinius within the warp would only grow in power. And a power boost for the spirit of Sanguinius could be a real game changer. No longer confined to a few scattered messages to his sons, we could have a Sanguinius taking the fight to the demon kind once again. A force of light within the darkness of the Immaterium making this Imperium Chaos War truly two-fronted. The material side led by Gilliman, and the Immaterium side led by the Emperor and Sanguinius. We're unashamedly verging into fan theory territory here, but can you imagine Sanguinius working with his father once more? Maybe even leading a force of Emperor's Saints essentially emperor demons, against the forces of the ruinous powers. The emperor and his army entering the great game of the chaos gods themselves. It's 99% never going to happen, at least not with Sanguinius involved, but man what if. In truth, a more prominent Sanguinius within the Warp is probably the closest we'll ever really get to a true Sanguinius return. And like I've said before, it's really already happened. So we're really just talking about taking this evolution to the next step. However, I can certainly understand the reasoning for those who say Sanguinius should never return at least not to the material world, and I don't think he ever will. But maybe we will see, and really should see, a development of his existence within the Immaterium. Because as it stands, we are really without any answers. And this unveiling of the Imperium Secundus could just be a great way to see it happen though again incredibly unlikely. So far Sanguinius's appearances have been limited to the Blood Angel series, and you would expect this Imperium Secunda storyline to remain focused on Gilliman. Again, either way, we are just going to have to wait and see. But as always guys, what do you think? Do you think we could see Sanguinius involved in this new Imperium Secunda storyline? And if so, how do you think it will affect the spirit of his within the Immaterium? Could we see a groundswell of support for the Angel? Or conversely, could we see the people turn against him? As unlikely as that is. How else could this evolving storyline affect the sons of Sanguinius? Could we see Dante involved with the Imperium Secunda storyline? And how might this revelation affect his faith in his father? We know Dante has been privy to Sanguinius's private visions and thoughts. But as always guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. But with that said, I am off and I'll see you all again real soon.